Hey everyone, my name's Guther and welcome back to the Ottawa Zoo. I am in a bit of a pickle. I, uh, I've i decided, you know what, we've we've hit a point where um, we, we've made so many mistakes, minor mistakes, but mistakes nonetheless, that we, we may not be able to course correct. And that's okay. The entire idea of creating this, uh, this ep the, you know, this series of episodes and the Ottawa Zoo in general was to challenge myself to, to do better. And I think we've accomplished some really important things here. And I don't want to take away from that. We've done so much. For those who have joined at the beginning uh, of our journey together, I thank you so much. You know, your feedback, your comments, your advice helped out immensely and I wouldn't be where I am right now without reading those comments and I am forever in your debt um, for for providing that you know all that, that that feedback that being said I think it's coming to a point where we will need to say goodbye to the Ottawa Zoo but not goodbye to our conservation society so if uh, this episode is going to come out a few days after, but uh, the day that I'm recording this episode is the day that they announced uh, the new arid pack. We have a plethora of new animals that will be arriving, uh, and based off the uh, based off what I can see, the you know I really think they're going to be uh, focused in a uh, you know kind of like that desert terrain, and I think might be time for us to to move to a new zoo, but not yet. We're not there yet. And I think we have a few minor things that we need to course correct while we can. We're not closing down the Ottawa Zoo. It is going to remain open. It is gonna be our cornerstone, our key zoo, uh, zoo that got our conservation society up and running. And we can't say goodbye to that ever. Um, so a few things we need to course correct. Uh, really two. So, you know, maybe, maybe there'll be two episodes left uh, for this series before we move on. But uh, first things first, we need to satisfy some guest needs. So we need to build the other half of our uh, pedestrian um, area. We need to build that right here. The other thing, something that we've been pushing off for some time now, is our uh, grizzly bear exhibit. It's just, it's not, it's not large enough. It's an eyesore that I've, you know, if I've ever seen one. Uh, this is not my best work, uh, and we need to, we need to improve that. So I think we will course correct, fix these up, and uh, rely on the Ottawa Zoo to educate and show, you know, the great people of Canada. You know, I gotta get that in there. I'm Canadian. Uh, the wonders of our uh, of our of our um, uh, exhibits, our uh, our animals that live in our natural uh, area. So I think we're going to do this. Now, I've already started planning and I will say this, and you know, maybe I've lost you by now and that's okay. Uh, I came into this without a plan. And if there's anything I can take away from this, it is we need to have a plan on what to do. And I've worked on a plan for a new type of zoo that we're gonna be opening up in the next little bit. Uh, and that is gonna be our focus. Um, so we'll have a plan to go in. I've selected a few animals that you know I really want to see. A really big focus on Africa, uh, but suffice to say, uh, we're not there just yet. So a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a teaser, if you will. Uh, I think we've learned so much in this uh, in the in the series of videos that I think it's time for us to uh, stretch our legs a little bit uh, a little bit more, uh, get our feet out there, and uh, and start something new. Uh, but alas, we're not quite there yet. We have some major guest needs that we take. We need to take care of. Happiness, not really doing so good. Energy, whatever it's there. Hunger and thirst. Uh, so we've uh, we've satisfied some of it. We actually have a uh, we have a, a gulpy uh, put in play, and they're there to uh, to help out. But uh, we do need to fat satisfy that food need. Uh, I'm uh, personally a burger man myself. I uh, can't go wrong with a you know with a with a good old fashioned burger, and I think we need uh, you know a burger shot uh to uh to open up so let's uh we'll, we'll focus on that today uh as always before i get to this uh to the to the speed build uh feel free to share your feedback let me know what you think let me know what you think of this decision it's a pretty big decision you know i i in a recent episode i said i wasn't quite there yet but i've done a lot of thinking about this and i think it's uh it maybe it is time that we move on and that's okay 
Um, of course, uh, if you want to, feel free to subscribe if you want to see this new journey uh, take place. I would love to have you guys join and experience it with me. And uh, if you didn't know, I've opened up a, a Discord channel. Uh, maybe it's a little too uh, too early for that, but hey, it is there for you to come and provide your feedback, provide your build ideas where we can all collaborate and become better zoo builders together. And I think that's the important thing. Uh, so, of course, if you're feeling up to it, join. If not, that's okay. Same for subscribing. If you don't want to do it, that's cool. Uh, but, of course, uh, I would appreciate it if you do. Uh, but uh, suffice to say, that's enough of my uh, my monologue here. Uh, let's uh, get cracking. I'm thinking we're going to build a, uh, a food and an info hut because uh, we do need to get some info going on here. And so I'm not going to copy the same design. I think I'm going to work around what we have here. Uh, I don't have a whole big, uh, a whole lot of a plan, but we're going to see what we can uh, what we can achieve and uh you know uh, let me know what you think
well. I uh, I don't know how I don't I don't know. I'm I'm actually um, I'm actually really impressed with myself. <laughs> I uh, went in with no plan, and I am shocked with how uh, this looks compared to this. So you can, we can definitely see the the improvements, uh, definitely quite a bit. We've actually incorporated some additional buildings in the background, uh, in, in behind. So I'm just gonna slip through here. We have our a new staff building. We were running out of staff uh, room in the other one, as well as a uh, as a water. Um, water purifier to uh, help out with the uh, the bears. So we are doing pretty good. The uh, overall, it looks, uh, this this looks like something I would actually find in a zoo. I am 100% uh, floored. You know, I think with, uh, with my limited skills when it comes to foliage, uh, I am quite proud of this. I even added in a, like a little ATM shack. I don't, I don't know how I feel about the back wall. I couldn't really find, uh, I, was, I was trying to look for something that would kind of fit in. Um, didn't quite find what I was looking for, but I think overall uh, it still fits uh, quite nice. Uh, they're, they're still a little off. Uh, let's see, hang on, maybe I can get this. Uh, uh, that should be a little bit better, like so. There we go. Uh, but overall, I am uh, I'm quite happy. You know that they have. Uh, we'll just unpause it, see what happens. Uh, they can come in, get their food, get their drink. I called this a burger shot. That that was incorrect. It's a chief beef. Uh, I was thinking of uh, Grand Theft Auto for some reason there. <laughs> uh, but they can come in, get their food. They can have a you know take a little uh, a little seat and uh, enjoy it, and then they can be uh, on their way. The really cool thing, and, and I use I utilize some of the conservation uh, uh, pieces. You know if if uh, you would naturally find some type of uh, with all the foliage and, and plants and stuff like that, you would naturally find like a water spout, uh, water can, uh, broom. I actually really like this uh, water barrel. Uh, we would normally see a water barrel kind of uh, collect there as well as kind of like a broom and whatnot. I'm quite proud of this. And then as would naturally happen uh, over time with plants on the roof, we would naturally start to see vines start to kind of work their way down. Now in a normal zoo, we would always take care of the front and make it look nice and neat but uh, the the back maybe not so much we wouldn't focus as much attention on that uh, but overall I am uh, I'm quite proud of uh, what we've accomplished here so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bore you any longer than that uh, feel free to leave a like drop a comment let me know what you think uh, what you think of this build and of course with my plans for the future uh, I'm always open for suggestions otherwise ciao for now everybody